Once again, a very warm welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Express on SABC3. And check it, it's drizzling. Yeah, some water, some rain here for us. We've been praying for it. Uh, right now, we are calling on all first-time home buyers as we continue our series of giving you expert knowledge and information. And we're talking about conveyancing, which is the legal process of transferring ownership from the seller to the buyer. And it's a process that starts off when your offer to buy is accepted and it ends when the keys are in your hands. But of course, there's lots of nitty-gritties that can get in the way that can result in a couple of surprises that you might not have expected. It's, it's time for us right now to get some expert advice. Well, we're going through the journey of a first-time homeowner and the legal side of buying a home is not always the greatest, but unfortunately, a very important point that needs to be paid attention to. We have attorney Lisa Boniface in studio to explain everything to us when it comes to conveyancing. Lisa, great to have you back on the show. It's awesome to be back. Sorry. Well, we are talking about conveyancing. What exactly is it? So conveyancing is the legal process whereby ownership in immovable property is transferred from one party to another party and obviously all other related aspects like registration of mortgage bonds and real rights. So where exactly would you start this process? So the first step is receiving the instruction and that's by way of a deed of sale or an offer to purchase. Once the conveyances have received the offer to purchase, we're all very excited. The estate agents earned their commission, the purchase is going to be moving into a new home and the seller is going to be paid out some proceeds. We do a deed search immediately and we just ensure that the property description is correct, the parties to the agreement are correct. Once that's been done, we then request security documents from our mortgage bond holder. And these documents are your original title deeds and your mortgage bonds, as well as existing cancellation figures from the banks. This is the amount of money that's still owing in respect of the loan on that property. So we need to ensure that the bank is covered mm -hmm. for that amount of money that's still outstanding. It's then that we go to our local authorities and we obtain our rates figures. No transfer can be affected at the deeds office until such time as we have a rates clearance certificate. Once that's been done, we ensure all our suspensive conditions have been fulfilled, the bond has been granted. If there's any special conditions that have needed to be fulfilled, we ensure that these have been done too. Then we pay SARS. There's transfer duty that's payable on any property that's being acquired. So SARS needs to be paid and a transfer duty receipt it needs to be received from SARS. Once we've got our transfer duty receipts in place, we've got our rates clearance certificate in place, we sign transfer documents with the purchaser and the seller. And these include powers of attorneys and FICA declarations. Once our transfer documents are signed, our guarantees are in place, we've got the money in the bank, that's when we head to the deeds office. And it sits at the deeds office for seven to 10 days, Zoe, and it goes through three different examiners. Okay. And once the matter's on prep, the conveyances ensure that the purchase price is paid by way of guarantees, or it's been paid and sitting in our trust account, and we then give an instruction to our lodging agent to register the matter. We have registration, transfer of ownership has taken place. We then, as conveyances, will do a reconciliation of finances, we'll pay out an estate agent their commission, and then essentially pay out the seller their proceeds. Okay, so basically everything happens through the conveyancer, but I want to know also, this seems like such a lengthy process. How long does it take from, you know, before you can actually move in, okay. generally that Period. So, so mm. it all really depends on the contractual obligations of the parties and obviously the cooperation of the parties is also very important. So it's how quickly you go and approach your attorneys and you sign up documents, how quickly you pay your transfer costs and if there's any special conditions in regards to the, in respect of the deal, if you fulfill those timelessly. So it all just depends but on average six to eight weeks for a deal to go through. Lisa, thank you so much for coming through to share all of that. It's a lot of information information to process but I think the important thing is to know that conveyancing is a good thing the process is moving along and you are almost moving into your new home well don't miss your feel-good breakfast show and don't miss out on the final stages of our buyers journey of buying their dream home whether it's your first apartment in the city a trendy suburban townhouse or that dream family home on a golf estate there's a home for everyone on private property